This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to exchange a regular belt with a link belt. Link belts have a lot of advantages. Number one, you can infinitely adjust their length and you don't need to go to the store to buy a belt. But most importantly for the machinery we're going to use, it's a very smooth running belt. It doesn't bump, it has much less vibration, and it's really got a lot of those really nice desirable features. Here are a couple brands. This is the Power Twist AccuLink. There are many, they're known as link belts. Uh, they come in various widths, half inch, three eighths, uh, a variety. Uh, the typical belt we're gonna re be replacing is a half inch wide. We're gonna replace the belt on this metal bandsaw so it's really smooth running. Link belts are made of many segments that look like this and they interlock and they have a very smooth contour and when they're when they're turning there's no bump there's much less vibration they're a very smooth belt and the beauty is that if you need a belt you can take a link belt bring it out to your job site or your application identify the length and make it right there on the spot because these things are infinitely variable we're going to replace the belt that's on this metal bandsaw and i've loosened the motor so it, it it uh, takes a lot of tension off the belt and again when we're removing belts it's always easiest to take it off of the larger pulley and place it back on the larger pulley so here's the belt and you can see it's it's new it's in good shape but remember this is uh, this is not a continuous piece these are made and and uh, typically have some bumps and lumps in them uh, and typically these link belts are far superior. So let's take it out of the package and let's figure out how much length we need for this application. So for this application, I'm going to just overlap the belts like this and identify where the excess is and take it apart. And it's taken apart with a plier, you just twist the tab and it goes into this opening. Literally the piece pulls apart, this piece tw twists out and there's your belt. So this is the belt we need. We're going to put it together now by, first we need to put it through this slot. Twist it, and get it so it comes through when the tabs lock. It comes, takes a little work. There it goes. And this piece needs to go into this hole, and we'll just get it started. And typically, I pull it through the other side if I can. Stuff is really stiff when it's brand new. There it goes. All right, we have a completed link belt now. Okay, let's install it. And again, it's always easier to put it on the, the larger, install it onto the larger of the two V belt of the two pulleys. That'll get it to sit in there. There it goes. Now these belts are made of material that are highly chemical, oil, grease, gasoline resistant. Much better than standard belts, which is nice. And once you've run this for a few hours, you need to retighten it because this will loosen as it breaks in. So just keep an eye on the tension and you'll undoubtedly need to tighten it up a little bit after one to three hours. But that's the installation of a link belt. Incredibly quiet, incredibly smooth. And I put this on my drill presses, my thickness planer, my jointer, metal cutting bandsaw, drill presses, um, everything else that has a standard belt 
you can improve dramatically by replacing it one of, with one of these link belts. Once your belt is replaced, you tension the motor back up to the appropriate tension and you're ready to go. So that's how to replace a standard belt with one of these link belts. I think you're going to find that they're excellent. Thank you very much for watching. Again, Adventures with Dr. Joe. Please do click subscribe. Please click like if you like it. And comments are always welcome. I appreciate those very much. As always, stay safe. Thank you.